So, you know, ever since this Diddy thing happened, everybody's going back in their archives to figure out if, you know, maybe we missed some shit where people were talking about these freak offs or talking about some of Diddy's illicit behavior. And I actually forgot about this instance because if you guys don't remember, there was a huge leak of Cassie nudes back in the day. A lot of like, you know, neck topless and naked pictures of her leak. And, um, you know, 50 Cent actually spoke on, you know, um, some of these leaks in an interview, but he said some extra stuff that now people are connecting to believe that 50 had insight of these freak offs from back in the day. Okay. This was in, um, I believe this this interview that he did was on Shade 45, like maybe like a couple years after 2010. Um, that's when Cassie's photos were leaked. But listen to 50, and what do you think? Is he talking about them freak-off pictures and videos? Because, you know, remember, everything was taped. Them freak-offs were taped, remember? Then he said he watched them with her, like one time on a plane. Listen to, to 50 talk about it. Phone and shit, after the main shit. Right, right. And... And the nigga be like, matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures, like pictures of this girl, like not the shit that y'all saw. Worse, way worse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Are you kidding me, yo? Yeah? So, oh, actually, let me go back. We just missed the last part when you say he was a bitch because your phone was going in and out. Nah. Okay, okay. Let me, let me just play this whole thing. Hold on. <laughs> that, that's how, that's how, that's, I made that. Yo, he got cut up. No, no, yeah, no. Now, Hello? Of, of <laughs> Damn, his phone. His phone breaking up. Everyone wants to be the hot bitch in the group. You know how you see a hot? Damn. Your fifth, your phone. It's cutting in and out. Your fifth, you got to call back. Your phone's cutting in and out. <laughs> he ant right now. He ant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right now. He's probably working out he's right gonna, now. He's gonna call. <laughs> Trust me, he's going to call back. He got, Nigga, don't act. Okay. Right there. Yo. What was yeah. that? What was that, Fifth? We just yeah. missed the last part when you say he was a bitch because your phone was going in and out. Nah, you know what I'm saying? I know it sounds kind of harsh, but I'll explain my, you know, my statement. <laughs> See, you know how an ugly bitch always got, like, pretty friends? Yeah. Oh, God. oh my oh, God. Shit. Yeah, I know That's what you mean. built this group. He want to be the hot bitch in the group. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Wow. Also, That's the ones that get the attention. Like Beyonce. Every time you go out. Nah, yeah. He want to sure, make sure he's getting all the attention. Yep, they get the dudes hollering at them. Everything is that uh, the, the the pretty bitch with the ugly girl. You want to make sure the niggas want to holler at him. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Nigga, don't act like a. <laughs> wow. You know, and, and it's the reality of the situation, man. So, Don't need me to tell you. So I mean, he tell he'll tell you himself what happened in my. That's what I told you now. Here we go. Oh. Mm. Oh so you think that you what he did say? You think what he said? You think that all right? He was saying something slick towards me. Now it's like now it's open season on Diddy. <laughs> well, you know it's, it's not even open season on Diddy. Like, I don't I don't know who he's talking about because he didn't say my name. <laughs> right, he didn't say your name. So right, but I, I feel like that's the way I feel about him. I feel like he's at the end of the day, whoever's around him. Well, that this is a, a, a the, the final notice, the final note. Because he'll suck the life out of him like everybody else that he's been around. I mean, he did. He did. You know he, so, he, he did change the name, though. He did change Dream. What, what he, he changed the uh, to Dream Team? That, Supreme that Team. Better than to do that shit. Mm. What the fuck? So, so now, man, I don't know. I don't know. I know. I know. Check this out. On, on the up and up, the nigga pop like he called. We should kick it on the telephone and shit after the main shit. Right. Right. Here we go. And and the nigga be like, matter of fact, they sent me the girl pictures, like pictures of this girl, like not the shit that y'all saw. Worse, way worse. <laughs> wow. God, are you kidding me, yo? Like penetration pictures and, and. Nah, come on, man. What? Penetration pictures? Worse. <laughs> Wow. God, are you kidding me, yo? Like penetration pitches and, and. Nah, come on, man. Come on, Fifth. <laughs> All that. And I didn't even. I didn't even. I called the nigga. I said, yo, you really. You fucking with this girl? Like, you really. Like, you like her? Like that? And he was like, yeah. That's, that's my girl. I'm like, alright. I'm going to send you something. You look at it. You call me back. Oh, I man. sent him the photos, the pictures, and everything. And the nigga called back and was like, yo, thanks, man, about us tonight. Yo, I really appreciate that. Yo, where you get these shits from? 
And I said, you know, like, because they know, like, if something crazy is going on, if they send it to me, I'm a, I'll make sure I get out there, like, as far as this video.com is concerned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and those other properties. So they sent it to me. <laughs> but, you know, I really, I really kind of felt like those photographs were not happening because of Cassie. I felt like they was happening because of Puffy. Right, right. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Because when a, a girl moved from a man and she upgraded, niggas be insecure. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they start feeling some kind of way, especially like, like whoever last, whoever the guy was she was with in the photos versus where Puffy's at. Because Puffy's, he ain't no slouch, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he's been able to take advantage of all the suckers. So where, where did it go wrong, though? Because I know y'all was cool. Like, where did it like, turn wrong? I don't know what, what made him name that group that. That's what I what I made me Supreme think. Supreme Team. Oh, okay, Supreme Team. And then it was like, yo, why you do Like, why? Like, Well, damn. Chat, as I said, if you ask me, where there's smoke, there's fire. I can't speak to, and this is where I'm going to stop short. And, I, I, you know, I was talking to some of my peers who have really been tight-lipped about the situation. They all said the same. Yo, Ak, you got this one, man. Nah, we good. And um, I'm going to give you some vague reasons why they told me. One was this. They said, well, Ak... They said, well, uh, we're not scared of Puffy. Well, not all of them said that. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. Not all of them said that. Some of them sounded definitely shook of Puffy. But I, one person said, like, no, nah, I ain't scared of Puffy. We're going to talk about it. But here's the thing. Before we could talk about it, Cassie already folded her hand. She wanted to get paid. It was a civil suit. She got paid. What more is it for us to talk about? She doesn't want to talk about it anymore because the act of settling means no proof is going to come out. So if she doesn't want to talk about it no more, why are we going to jump out the window to talk about it? And I was like, mm, I guess. Secondly, there... <laughs> Their whole thing was, put it like this. They didn't want to be the only one talking about it. I ain't going to lie. That was a little odd to me, but still, you know, um, I understand it. They're like, yo, listen, there's a lot of people who could have already talked, but they're not talking. Why, why do the people with the least amount of information have to be the people to tackle this head on, i.e. I'll be sure he's typing in riddles. Like, brother, there's a whole convoluted history there with them. I believe I'll be sure's son is raised by Diddy. I think it's Quincy. I, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm, these are like a long, like, again, I'm not that old. You feel me? So it's like, there's a whole bunch of things there. There's a whole bunch of other people. Like, yo, hey, karma is coming. They're not talking directly. So I guess people are saying, if, hey, we got no problem talking about this shit, but the people who would have the information don't want to talk. So why the hell would we drag it off of something that, as much as we know, is accusations? And then third of all, which was the most important part, they said, okay, all right, what are we supposed to say? Yo, Diddy's into some other type of shit? Well, that's been known. Diddy's been into some other type of shit those rumors that existed since for, for 30 years they said what would be alarming is is did he abuser predator and is he a rapist and all of those and i heard from multiple people they said i'm gonna be honest we need a we need that needs to be investigated not just only talked about on podcasts they said that should be a criminal investigation that should that has to go to the police if you're going to be talking about somebody who are they a rapist or not go to the cops 
Let the cops figure it out. They're going to have more power and authority to figure out if this shit is true. Because otherwise, you're just saying stuff off of he said, she said. Do you get what I'm saying? Well, those were the um, answers that I pretty much, you know, kind of heard. So I said, did he got the police paid for on some mafia shit? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is that Carisha hasn't tweeted. In a, yo, the la you know this loud ass chick. What's her name? Young Miami? Nigga. Literally, has she tweeted today? Nope. She hasn't tweeted in five days. Bruh, literally like two days before this, she was gassing up her little gay friend. Meet him in the streets! Meet him in the streets! <laughs> Did he get accused of all this? No more tweets. Dead air silence. Uh, it's weird to me. I don't know. I don't know, bro. <sighs> A little bit weird if you ask me. But what do I know? Anyway... The official documents did come down. Give me a second. Uh, Instagram. Okay. The official documents did come down um, in the court system today. Even though, yeah, I got the, the reports that it was um, squashed on Friday. The official documents was filed in court today. And it basically says this is a notice of dismissal with prejudice. Okay. It says... Uh, pursuant to an agreement, which means a settlement between the parties, the plaintiff hereby dismisses his action with prejudice and without cost or fee to either party. Okay. Um, it was dated November 20th, which is, you know, obviously they came to an agreement in hours after, you know, business, the business day ended on Friday, but nothing could be filed in court till today, Monday. You get what I mean? So, Hey, this is what it is, right? This is what it is. Um, there were some pictures that were actually posted, which, which I just thought were, like, fucking pathetic. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. You know, if, if, um, if you didn't learn anything from hearing that Gina girl speak when she said people thought, like, you know, shit exposed some shit, and, and Diddy allegedly called her and said, yo, don't worry, TMZ is cooking up this story that you're dating Tristan Thompson and she never even met Tristan Thompson. Diddy's very savvy with the media. And, um, you know, um, let me see. Diddy. And some pictures came up where Diddy's allegedly looking very sad. You know, he's looking down in the dumps like he's distraught. You know what I mean? Um, he's on Star Island. I don't know who that is, but, uh, who's that white woman? Probably like a, I don't know, masseuse. I don't know what he looks distraught. Chat, let me tell you this. This shit stage, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yo, let me tell you this. Diddy is amazing. This nigga has beaten this allegation, and by next week, this will be out of here. So anyway, uh, those were, to me, that was just bullshit. You know, nobody else is kind of speaking about nothing. You go in the shade room, I think people are intrigued by the, the subject, but I do think that there was about to be a couple of people that was about to come out. I don't know if they come out anymore, unless it's going to be for money, which if it's going to be that, they're probably going to just hit up Diddy privately. Diddy doesn't want this to continue. Diddy's probably going to have to pay out some more people. It, it is what it is. Hey, you take a million, you take two million. Yeah, it's gonna, like, this shit's gonna cost. But do I think that we'll hear more um, things to the public about Diddy soon? Nah. He's done good. He's definitely done good. Okay? Uh, let me see if I see. Was there anything else with, with Diddy? Oh. There was, actually. So, there's a few people that commented on it. And this was Peter Guns. Hear what Peter Guns said. I want to hear what y'all think about what he said. Listen to this. Hey, that they want to be the voice, so this doesn't happen to somebody else. Mm -hmm. So I'm going. I'm doing. It's not about the money. It's about this not happening to somebody else. 
but then you get enough money and you set the f up. So which one is it? That's what I. That's my question: Is are we trying to be the voice, to, so this doesn't happen to somebody else, or are we gonna grab this money and shut the f up? That's what I was saying. Okay. And my opinion on that is that if you listen to Cassie, agree with you, and that's fine. They, you're everybody's entitled to their opinion. I don't agree. This is what I'm saying. Number one, it was civil. Civil means money. So there was never any kind of dispute about what was going on here. There was never a dispute about what was the aim here. This is not a criminal case. He did not take a criminal case and make it civil. She did not start cooperating with the cops and then change up. She was in a civil case from the beginning, which meant she wanted money. If you listen to Cassie, Cassie's been saying, I've been asking Puff for money for years. And this nigga been shit on me. So I said, this is what's about to happen. I'm going to write this book. I'm going to get my money some kind of way. I'm going to get my money some kind of way. So it's a money grab. You agree with me? I'm not agreeing with you because Cassie never came out and said that she didn't want money. Cass, the, what Cassie did was exactly what she was supposed to do. And I'm not saying nobody's guilty because obviously everybody knows our relationship with Puff. Everybody knows our relationship with Cassie now. So right. all I'm saying is this. I'm not saying that Puff is guilty or innocent. This is not about that. It's not about innocence or guilt. It's about Cat, what, what happened that we all know publicly. Cassie said she wanted to, she opened the door. She opened the door. So now all these girls. Yo, isn't this like so ironic to y'all? They're all talking about, oh, okay, Cassie got paid, Cassie got paid, Cassie got paid, Cassie got paid. Like, do y'all know there's victims of R. Kelly that, are also on the hook to get paid. They have sued civilly, and they have, I think one or two of them, or maybe multiple of them, they have won lawsuits that some of the proceeds from his music will always go to them, right? But that's not what people talk about when they talk about R. Kelly, right? What people talk about with R. Kelly is that, yo, this thing is a fucking creep. Like, you know what I mean? This is why like, I'm so shocked that that's just not part of the convo. Is... Diddy a fucking creep. <laughs> like nobody wants to talk about that. They're talking about, well, Cassie got her money. Okay, cool, cool, cool. She got her money. Great, great, perfect. Good for her. Is this thing a creep? Nobody wants to talk about it. By the way, these are the people who would be the most inclined to even know Diddy in certain circumstances. Because, you know, through run-ins in the industry. Nobody's speaking on his character. Nobody's speaking on nobody wants to speak on that type of shit. You know what I mean? She asked for the money. He didn't do it. So she so she put the, the she put she started putting the stuff out. You know what you know? There's a stat there's a New York precedent that says that, and I'm gonna have to get Monice on here because Monice just broke it down for me. The the um the, the, the New York precedent that was that is over next week. It's over on Thanksgiving Day. That said if, if you have a civil suit that you wanna do, uh, that's how the girls get in LA Reed. LA Reed got the same going on. I ain't talking about LA, but another girl came out from Def Jam or Arista and said that LA sexy assaulted her. The another girl came out and said Bill Cosby assaulted her. The New York statute is Different over next stuff. week. That say that they want to be the voice, so this doesn't happen. To okay. Now the person who took it the furthest was Back. I ain't gonna lie, Slim Thug wilded it out. <laughs> Listen to Slim Thug. And getting Bill Cosby coming back and getting Puff, I don't believe in that, man. When shit go down, speak on that shit right then or it's out of there. It should be null and void. You shouldn't even have no type of nothing. You should be you shouldn't be able to do shit unless you must let the people know what happened immediately. It should be a time limit on this shit. What happened was you was trying you got around them up stand up on love shit. This is what happened. I'm gonna tell you what always happened, right? You was with a billionaire with all this bread all this time and then you went followed your heart to f with a trainer that motherfucking apartment got smiled in the bitch that lifestyle felt uh, this is where I gotta like stop Slim Thug don't you believe if what she's saying maybe wasn't true she wouldn't have left Diddy and ran to another nigga who was 
a hundred times broker and she had a kid with him within like six months. If what you're saying is true, it sounds like she would have been signing up to stay on the billionaire train, even if she got demoted from main girl to side chick. She ran for the hills. And the first nigga she found, she let that nigga give her like three babies. I understand when sometimes when the pockets start getting thin. And by the way, that might be part of it too. That might be part of it. But it, it don't look like she she was she's having buyer's remorse on some damn I shouldn't have left Diddy. It looked like she's happy she left the nigga. Because she done had a family with this new nigga. Now, does she still want money? Of course. Who doesn't? Love, now it's struggle time, the love wearing out, and now you trying to come up with ways to figure out how to get paid. Now, I, now I'm healed and I can talk about it. I want to expose niggas in my books. You did that. You you participated. You ain't say for nothing. You did that. So stand on that, man. Quit trying to expose people for money. Like, what the f Nah, that apartment got small. You and that dude you left for love. You let your homegirls hype you up when you was with him. You let them homegirls hype you up to tell you, girl, he treating you bad. He cheating on you. He messing with them back and getting Bill Cosby. Okay. Now, let me add a little insight to that. You know, as much as, you know, we're, I feel like we're almost, we're envisioning some heinous, like, Diddy got, like, some crazy type of sex cult, weird fetish type shit going on. But I am going to say this, and y'all tell me if I'm tweaking. By the way, I'm not saying it makes it right or make it wrong. Is there a world? Let me, let me not even state it definitively. Let me ask you a question. Cassie was with Diddy from like 05 to like 2017, over a decade. Maybe even a little bit more, right? Is there a world where all these freak offs that she d describes and she says they were so mentally draining, they were so horrifying? Is there a world that maybe maybe wasn't her favorite thing to do, but she did like doing it because either whether she was trying to please him or that was their lifestyle. And it was one of those things where after the situation ends where you leave with nothing, you kind of like, damn, I, I gave this nigga every fantasy he ever wanted. And I walked away empty handed, no baby, no ring, no nothing. Is it possible? Because again, I'm just asking this question. Because when I read her words, she felt like, like, you know, oh, I had to be intoxicated to, to, to even participate in these things. But if you really read what she was saying and how often did he brought it up and oh, it's our secret. It sounds like maybe Diddy, unless, again, we could just assume Diddy's just a fucking really weird, evil predator, but maybe Diddy thought they both like that shit. Do you get what I mean? April Fall says she was abused. Stop. I'm not saying she wasn't abused. I'm not saying, you see, you see, this is why you, you, you gotta, you gotta understand the nuance of my argument. My argument isn't about if she was abused. My argument is that was some of these things that she described, right? Maybe at least initially she was open to it. Obviously, you know, she's basically claiming that Diddy forced certain things and pressured certain things. But are we to assume that she was vehemently just against all of this? Again, I'm here for whatever way you go with. But 12 years of doing a freak off. Ovio Andre says, nah, act, nah, let's not entertain this. Okay, all right. Nah, I'm not, listen, I'm only asking this question because... We're not hearing Puff's side. 
So we almost have to, like, we almost have to kind of, like, what could he say if, you know, maybe he is guilty, but, like, maybe it, it isn't, you know, even though this is not no brownie point, maybe it just isn't as bad as what we think it is. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm just asking hypothetically, and I'm not saying, for example, for example, for example, for example, I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a random scenario. Okay, say a girl likes girls, she gets with a guy, but she likes girls too. The guy knows she likes girls. Okay, cool. He proposes like, yo, you know what we should do is a threesome. Cool. She's like, yeah, I've had threesomes before. They're fun. We could do them, right? She does it once, maybe she does it twice. She's cool with that. She has no problem. The guy who now ha who's so like sexually, he he almost requires more and more and he has this insatiable appetite for sex. He wants to have threesomes all the time. Not just once or twice. Let's do it weekly. Let's do it two times a week. Shit. Let's do it. Let's do it with Two girls. So now it's a foursome. Oh, let's do it with other couple. Like he's he's now moving. You know, I'm talking about how a lot of shit sometimes with kinkiness work, bro. Let's be honest. You know what I'm saying? Snooze. I, I played that already. I played the leak. Fifty Cent audio where he said um he sent him. Do you get what I'm saying? So it's like a, a chick who she might be into certain stuff, but then somebody else who kind of pressures her to do way more than she probably was even into. Because, I, I like, again, I'm trying to wrap my mind around a woman who wasn't into Diddy at all. Okay, cool. She eventually, you know, kind of falls for him because she's the he's the boss. And a lot of that is definitely a, a way, there's a disparity among a power dynamic, which is definitely pressuring. I'm not denying that. But I'm wondering, you know, I got to imagine they probably had regular sex with the first time they had sex. How do you go from that to be like, yo, we're having a freak off with prostitutes in the corner? You know what I mean? Just, I don't know. Or, and this is another thing too. I'm thinking out loud, people. I'm thinking out loud. It could have been the drugs. It could have been the drugs. Right? Like, maybe off the drugs, she's she's more sexually open to stuff and maybe Diddy took advantage. Okay, I bet. So if I get off this ecstasy and ketamine... Yeah, yeah, she'll, you know what I mean? She could dissociate the fact that she's not fucking somebody who she loves. And I, for whatever weird reason, like watching another nigga fuck her. Maybe it was the drugs. You know what I'm saying? It probably was the drugs, to be honest. You know, drugs and alcohol lowers anybody's inhibitions but also for you know women a lot of things that they think they wouldn't do those things sometimes open the gateway for someone to kind of lure them into doing you know so maybe maybe it was you know okay did he got this fast lifestyle he's into mad drugs he gets her on the drugs now she's on the drugs you know, he's on some real freak boy shit. He's like, yo, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah we could We could fuck regular tonight, but yo, let's let's do something different. She's like, all right. She's lit out of her fucking mind. She's like, let's do it, whatever. Now he has like 10, 10 niggas coming in, donkey fucking her type shit. I don't know. I don't know. Somebody said, she can't say no. I think this this conversation is bigger than no, right? It's not just like, oh, didn't she have free will? This conversation, it, it's, it's, it definitely involves a power dynamic. You know what I mean? This is why they usually suggest that some, you know, like a boss within any type of company don't sleep with the employees because, you know, the sexual dynamic between those two is going to be altered by the fact that there's a power dynamic you're cassie your boss 
who owns your record label, who's paying for every single thing in your life, wants to fuck you. At some point, you might feel the need to please him. You might feel you're being ungrateful by saying no. His lifestyle is A, where he's off mad drugs. You might feel if you're like, oh, nah, I don't do all that. Like, you're, you're being prissy. I don't know. This is what it is. Um, thank you. Who just sent to 99 bucks? Thank you. Um, anything but the norm. Thank you for the 99. Uh, she says, I would like to thank you. You are the only one who are covering this news. I'm going to send a super chat. I'm pretty sure that's super cheap. I can't even get you, uh, I can't even get you a cup of coffee, uh, coffee, my nigga. But I'm glad to see you are alive. And thank you. Stay alert. By the way, a hundred bucks definitely could give me a cup of coffee. So thank you. And I appreciate um, your donation. Absolutely. All right. First class says, yo, I had a girl said she liked girls and threesomes. We had one and then she blamed me. <laughs> yo, I'm telling you. Yo, you know, th there's so much. <coughs> <coughs> there's so much to unpack with this shit, man. There's so much to unpack. Anyway. Slim Thug said this, Shade Room started killing this nigga. And he followed up with a few more videos. Let me see if I can play him. Where's the videos? Come on, come on, come on. Where's the Slim Thug videos? <coughs> he basically went back on live and doubled down. Hold on. Hold on. Where the hell is it? Okay, here we go. You did that. They were getting high with him, having fun with him. Turning up with him. Okay. Actually, let's go to live bites. <clears throat> live bites, I fuck with you. Here we go. Can I find it? Can I find it? Can I find it? Here we go. Oh, here we go. Thank you. It's not guilty of all that. <laughs> they were getting high with him, having fun with him, turning up with him. When they went broke, they started trying to do all this ish. Get the fuck out of here, man. I ain't turning on my heroes over these old fake money grabs, man. Straight up like that. And, my, and let them make that shit go viral. I ain't turning on my heroes over these lame ass money grabs. Straight up like that. You ain't finna turn my heroes into motherfucking all this weird that you turn people into trying to get some money. This is why women don't come forward. No, if somebody did something to you women, come forward. Tell them then though, you know what I'm saying? Tell them then, or around that. Go tell somebody you love, tell your mama. Tell somebody, please. But when you waiting all this time, to, and then you sue a and you ain't go to the police, it sounds suspicious. It sounds fishy. Diddy is my hero, get out of my I'm talking about mother I ain't gonna lie. I mean, he has a slight point, but we also got to know that there is a cycle of abuse. Um, I did hear that allegedly Cassie did have some restraining orders out on Diddy. I don't know if they made the news, but apparently she had taken out restraining orders on him, which, you know, could just be those could be the the warning signs that there was a lot more shit going on. That made her need to take those out. Bill Cosby. I'm talking about black men who were successful. Yeah, I'm talking about who ain't got it from nothing. That's what I'm talking about. So you get off the groupie shit if you want to be a, a, a goofball. Yeah. Call the police if somebody did something to you, man. 
call the police, man. Straight up like that. It don't take that. You call them talking about something happened in the 70s, man. Stop the cap, man. Stop the cap, man. We from the streets. We know scammers. He's also talking about Bill Cosby, too. He thinks that the women who came out against Bill Cosby, they were basically lying after they were complicit years ago. He basically said that whatever drugs that we accuse Bill Cosby of drugging those women, that was the culture. Those women were enjoying it, turning up with him, partying with him. And now they see an opportunity to get some money. They're flipping. That's that's his opinion. First when we see him, man, we ain't lame. Bill Cosby is not guilty of all that. Shit. They were getting high with him, having fun. Okay. Now he came back around and apologized, I believe. Let me see if I can find that. Slim Thug apologizes. Here we go. Gotta go to today. Uh, actually, here it is, I think. That was my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm sorry, we don't agree on everything. I can still take you to Starbucks and buy you a drink, and we can sit down and chop it up. Like, I don't hate nobody. I don't even hate cats. It was just my opinion. I ain't wanted to go worldwide. I don't do this to ever be on social media, other pages. I just be talking to y'all, my people. Yeah, you know, so, you know what I'm saying? I just, I don't hear every single day. I do this every single day. I just give y'all my opinion. That's it. I don't make that. I'm just speaking from, you know, my, my, uh, my, uh, seeing life and seeing what happens in life. You know what I'm saying? End of the day, like, but if I said something wrong, like, yeah, say, correct me. Say something, like, tell me. I'm here. I'm not running from nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I don't agree with a lot of people on a lot of shit. But at the end of the day, we don't got to agree on everything to have a conversation. We, I ain't that small minded. You know what I'm saying? So, to all his comment sections in general, because all right, people pointed out that like, yo, uh, he got his cousin pregnant, so we can't listen to a nigga who getting his cousin pregnant. Regardless, there is maybe, you know, some un uneasiness about these allegations as it pertains to Diddy. Uh, I don't know if you want to call it domino, but 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 uh. Someone who was doing a podcast, apparently on Revolt, has announced that they will not be doing it again. It is someone named Dawn Montgomery. It says, FYI, I will not be signing on to do the third season of Revolt TV's Monuments to Me podcast. I'm a sexual assault survivor, and I cannot be a part of a show that's supposed to uplift black women while Diddy leads the company. Believe black women. Okay, um, I'm gonna be honest with you. This was a little bit surprising because all of the feminists, the loudmouth women who usually are, you know, shouting that all guys are misogynist and everybody hates women, those people are fucking quiet. Like you know, what I mean, the Jamel Hills of the world, the Angela Rise of the world. They don't, they act like they don't even know what D-I-D-D-Y spells, okay? Let it be another nigga. They'd be like, yeah, they hate us black women, black women, the, you know what it says? Black women, the most underrepresented, most mistreated, all that type of stuff. Cool. But those people right now, go to Jamel Hill's timeline. And she talked about Diddy. Go to Angela Rod's timeline. She talked about Diddy. Not a motherfucking thing. You get what I mean? They waiting for their, they probably told the, you know, the Breakfast Club be having them up there all the time. Like they like some, you know, spokesperson for black women. I guarantee they'd be like, yo, hit us back in like four months after this Diddy shit fly over because we can't talk about that shit neither. You get what I mean? Uh, somebody says Cassie's not black. Please stop with the fucker and the bullshit. These rumors have, 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 have been around about Diddy and this majority black women. Stop it. Like don't try to squeeze out of this shit. <laughs> oh, Cassie's not black, so come on. Stop it. Stop it. Them Twitter accounts is silent. You remember when remember when I had called um Chrissy Teigen a bitch or whatever? Man, everybody was acting like this shit was World War V. Look at academics. He called John Legend wife a bitch. They heard that Diddy done raped this chick. By the way, allegedly. Beat her ass. 
Nobody's seen none. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I wouldn't be surprised, and no disrespect to this, this woman here, I wouldn't be surprised if Diddy wasn't picking up the show anyway. So she just did this shit for clout. Anybody who's getting a text from Diddy ain't turning them checks down. I just want to let y'all know this. The people who are getting checks from Diddy ain't turning those fucking checks down. A hundred percent. I've never heard of this show. So if she says she won't be signing on, was there an offer by Revolt for you to sign on? Or are you just saying, uh, well, I did all my engagements with them and I don't want to do anything more with them, but they didn't offer anything. You know what I mean? So I really think this is this is kind of like a lot about nothing, but we'll, we will see. Some people feel like this is like one of the dominoes that are, that are prepared to uh, fall, but who knows, okay? Um, let me see what else. What else has been going on the Diddy front? By the way, the Wale. Wale is responding to a the rumor that um, Aunt Glizzy said that he was held off the balcony. We in the studio, and this girl in the studio and she's singing, but the girl is Cassie at the time. I don't really know what's going on. I just know she's a big singer. I'm, I'm not a musician. I'm not a music guy at this time. I'm not into music. I'm just there with Shia. Literally make sure Shia, all right. I know like the popping people. While they been telling us like before, before we even get, before we even get to the studio with Henry Cassie in the studio, while they was already telling us like, man, we about to go to the studio with Cassie. Man, Diddy be acting crazy over her. Diddy don't want nobody working around her. So y'all make sure y'all don't look at her too wild or make her feel uncomfortable. Or if you see her security guys or her security guys with her, just prepping us on how crazy Diddy act over her. Like any guys that's around her in her facility, while Diddy not around, he kirks off, he goes off. We make it through the session. We probably like an hour in the session, like an hour into the session, maybe two. Her and while they doing what they doing in the studio. We in the studio. And this girl in the studio. Okay. And she's singing, but. Okay, that's not the full story. But basically, Diddy came in, allegedly dangled Wale off the balcony. Wale now responds by saying, The slow demise of authentic journalism. I used to pray for gullible. Now I'm scared for them. Um. Then someone says they be itching for a story, not even caring how it'll affect someone. Wild trash. And he says wild times. Yo, Wale, who you fooling, bro? Nick, I ain't even gonna lie to you. I fuck with you, Wale. But you was dangling off the balcony until further notice, nigga. You could have, like, brother, it, this it's not journalism at this point, nigga. It's just there's a man who claims he was with you saying you did something or something happened to you. All you got to say, this ain't journalism, nigga. Just say Aunt Lizzie's fucking lying. That's all you got to say. Just say he's lying. Never happened. Did he never do, try to dangle me off the balcony? That bitch nigga could never. I ain't Kid Cudi. I ain't J. Cole or Drake. Just say that. The mere fact you over here type, yo, let me tell you this. I don't know what it is about Diddy, but everybody type in fucking hieroglyphics, codes, and nobody is motherfucking direct. They don't want to say the word Diddy. They don't want to address no allegations. They're just talking about, they're typing in hymns and, and haikus, bro. What the fuck? Did the nigga dangle you off the balcony or not? Just off of his response? I think he did. I'm sorry. Because he would have just said, bro, you're typing too much. All you got to say is, cap, didn't happen. He's lying. Now, if y'all thought that was just random, y'all thought that name change was for nothing, right? Listen to Diddy. This is when I knew that Wally story definitely real. Here we go. Look, chat. If you ain't think that Wally story was real, here we go. When I was uh, man, DJ, DJ, give me, give me the thing, man. <laughs> I'm loved now, y'all, so, you know, back in the day, somebody may have got thrown out a window for that shit. What? But not yet. Not no more. I just handled it. You said what? With grace. I handled it with grace. Yeah, so, um, when I was, uh, man, DJ, 
DJ, give me, give me the thing, man. <laughs> I'm love now, y'all. So you know, back in the day, somebody may got thrown out the window for that shit, but not yet, not no more. I just handle it with grace. Man. Nigga, what? With grace. <laughs> you know, I know that Diddy was probably really doing this shit, nigga. Even the barber looked like he shook. The barber took two steps back. The DJ stopped playing. The DJ just handed over the computer. <laughs> nah, this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Yeah, so, um, when I was, uh, man. Yo, you look like he was about to punch the shit out of him, right? Get that nigga. I can't say that. Though. That'll be a fucked up joke. DJ. DJ, give me, give me the thing, man. <laughs> I'm love now, y'all, so, you know, back in the day, somebody may have got thrown out a window for that shit. God damn. <laughs> yeah, imagine a nigga saying that to you. Back in the day, I would have threw a nigga out the window for that shit you just did. But my name is love now. I can't do that. Damn. But not yet. Not no more. I just handle it with grace. I handle it with grace. Yeah, so um when I was Shit. chat, crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Wale, I'm sorry, brother. Like, don't attack journalism, my nigga. This ain't journalism. A man who used to roll with a guy that you know. You knew Shot Glizzy, it's reasonable to say y'all may have been around each other at that time. Aunt Glizzy was around Shot Glizzy at that time. He said he saw you. He put it on his mama, his kids. Bro, just just come back live or go on your story and say, that nigga's a liar. And I would love for you to call him a liar that if he had any proof, he could bring to the table. You know what I mean? Yeah, okay. All right. By the way, I hear, I hear that... Uh, I hear that uh, Suge Knight is going to be putting out a response to that rumor or the story that Diddy was running out of his uh, run, running out of his apartment with all the guns trying to go confront um, Suge. So apparently he's going to be responding to that in some type of way possible. Are we done with the Diddy stuff? We might be done with it for now. Maybe we get back on the chat. I do want to play this clip real quick.